Hey guys, it's Cameron Riley here, and I don't know if you noticed, but I am pretty hyper and very happy because one of the greatest achievements since Mallard broke the world record Tornado, the Peppercorn A1 built by Sir Nigel Grizzly, has reached 100 mile an hour. It was on the news, I'm not sure when it did it, but Tornado has broken the 100 speed barrier. And that is just amazing. Yeah, um, people out there might not know what Tornado is. Basically, Sir Nigel Gresley was a very, very, very... Well, there were quite a few companies, but the l &E -R was the most posh, most, like, <clears throat> most well-known. And Sir Nigel Gresley built the locomotives <clears throat> until his death. And then Edward Thompson... No one liked Edward Thompson because he sort of changed his engines. Like, he sort of. Like. Because the. Um, what are they called? The P2s. Uh, Cochran and North. Um, and all the other ones. Prince of Wales. They're building those two. Anyway, off subject. But he kind of changed them. He changed them to a massive, great, powerful steam locomotive into just. Yeah, just like a flying Scotsman type of thing, but a lot, lot different. Anyway, off subject. Um, yeah. So Tornado has officially beaten. Well, just the. I can't. It's so. I can't even put it in words. It's just so. It, it's one of the greatest achievements that a steam engine has ever done. Cause flying Scotsman was the first steam locomotive in the world to reach 100 mile an hour. I think it was in 1934. And then about four years later, Mallard was built, and that went 126. And now Tornado has gone 100 miles per hour. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that is in kilometres, but all I know is that it's a brilliant achievement, and yeah, it was just amazing considering like how like young the engine is because it was built in 2008 and it's almost been no wait well next year it'll be a decade or it'll be like an anniversary of tornado being built of a decade because it's it'll well it'd be nine years since it was built this year I'm I'm just amazed how like young the engine is and how fast it went because they really pushed it to the limit and it's just oh, a peppercorn A1 is what they were called and how they were named but that so, tornado is the only member of its class now so I recommend you go see it because it's a brilliant locomotive even though my favourite railway is the Great Western Railways. I still think the LNER is just brilliant. Like, I've got models of the Flying Scotsman. I have a model of the Mallards, which I have done a review on. And when I was like young, and I knew what the Mallards and the Flying Scotsman were, I was really excited about them. And when it was 2008, I was only four at the time, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember seeing a video of it just coming out of the sheds in like a really silvery white livery with British Railways on the tender. And I remember that. I remember that so, so well. And my granddad had like a jigsaw of it, but it was on a computer. So you could have it as like, I don't know, a thousand pieces. Or you could have it as like four pieces. And you could have it, I don't know, uh, like I always used to... Um, I always used to like model it up so could, I think you could put press like random and it would just choose a number of how many pieces it was and I just wow I'm just so amazed I'm so pleased with the engine it's just if you know if you, you're interested in trains like me then you know how brilliant of an achievement that engine has done because since 1938 when the Mallard broke the hundred and 
100 speed barrier up to 126 the fastest well it's technically the fastest train in this country because the speed limit or the max speed limit in this country is 125 and I went one mile hour over the speed limit so brilliant achievement for the Mallard and the Flying Scotsman and Tornado which is the only member of its class today and soon Cochrane North and Prince of Wales uh, they're two of the same engines but one's going to have a streamlined front like the A4 and the other one's just going to be like the normal P2 class and they're going to be built in a very short time the, well, Prince of Wales is going to be finished about next year I think and Cochrane North there's not really a schedule for that because they haven't built it yet but it's just an achievement just a massive achievement for like steam considering how young the engine is as I've already said and uh, yeah Tornado is the name of the steam locomotive because um, well, I won't be talking about a real tornado would I but Tornado is if I could describe it it's like a more modern up to date version of the Flying Scotsman it's well there's the A1 the A2, which are extinct. The A1 is the Peppercorn A1, which is Tornado. Uh, the A3 is obviously like the Flying Scotsman. The A4 is obviously the A. Well, the A4s are like the Mallard. So, I think the A2s are extinct. So, uh, the A1 are still alive. A3 is still alive, and A4 is still alive. Um, yeah, I just. I was just sitting here, just thinking, oh, what could I make for a video? Now, I, was, I just sat down here, I was going to watch a thing on YouTube, I was playing with trains. I was just like, that's what I could do it on. And, here it is. Um, oh, God, my back's aching. <laughs> this normally never happens in a video. Ow. Um, but, yeah. Some of you out there might not be interested in trains. That, that is completely fine. That is just what you're interested in. You could be interested in, I don't know, boats or planes or cars, um, you know, motorbikes or for transport or something else. It's just my opinion. I like trains. I think Thomas the Tank's died off, but never mind. I love trains, alright? And that's just my opinion. Well, not opinion, it's just what I like, but you know. I'm not, I don't want to cause any arguments, I'm just saying. So yeah. It's just... I'm not sure like when they were built, like before they were extinct. But uh yeah, Edward Thompson when Sir Nigel Gresley died, uh Edward Thompson did um kind of change a lot of his locomotives. Uh Peppercorn A ones uh did change a lot. I think that's no they got changed into the A twos. Yes, I think the A twos were the Edward Thompson ones. Because Edward Thompson wasn't very... People hated him quite a lot. Because he changed Sir Nigel Gresley's... Or some of Sir Nigel Gresley's... Just... Fantastic locomotives. Lo locomotives into just something... Just very basic. And not how people were used to it. So Edward Thompson wasn't very like that much. And he wasn't, didn't really gain any fame or anything. People do know him, but he didn't gain gain any fame as like people like him. So yeah. Um I can show you a uh model of the Flying Scotsman which I'll do a review of uh later today. So this is what the A three looks like. Just a normal uh steam locomotive. A and it is heavy. But because when I stand up in real life, I would be about, so, if I have that there, I'd be about up to the buffers where those two things are. I'd be about up to those. So you can imagine how big the locomotives are. Like, I've been to the battlefield line many times and I've stood next to just derelict engines and just standing, like, steam locomotives. And they're huge! They're just massive. I mean, 
I stood next to like a uh, oh, Scots Guardsman. Yes, at uh, York uh, number four six one one five, I think it was. But yeah, I remember standing next to that, and it was huge, massive. You can smell the steam and everything. But yeah, I'll do a review on this uh, later today. Um, I'll end this video here. Um, if you like my video, please leave some video ideas in the comment section down below. And don't forget to put in the comment section down below, hashtag Tornado 100 mile an hour. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you like my videos, please give me a good thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell just so you don't miss any of my new videos. And don't forget, put a hashtag Tornado 100 mile an hour. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.